guys were back with Crash. So yeah, I mean, I've got to tell you, I, just, I don't understand how this dog is learning these things. I don't, I don't understand how she's, because I can move the platform. It's not like I haven't moved it. I, I am starting to think that maybe the dog has some sixth sense based or, you know, some ability to understand energy field or something because when the other puppies go and start jumping at the back door, if she's close enough, she's aware and she starts doing it too. If she's not, then they then they can be gone and then she doesn't even really realize you know that they left. Anyway, so I do think, you know I, I have to view it as the dog doesn't know it's handicapped. It's you know I think aliens probably look at us and say they don't know they're handicapped. You know, they don't know the level of their handicap, the fact that they're only using such a small part of their brain and all these things. Anyway, uh, let me get rid of these cheese wrappers. Right there. Okay, let's same behavior as Skylar as far as they do have a specific way if their foot hits the grass that's definitely a you know so whether you could teach them to you know maybe I should get a little you know if I wanted her to run you know now that I think about it if I wanted her to run if I had a little mat you know a little uh you know, like even one of those clear carpet runners, she could learn to run fast because there would never be an obstruction when it was that surface. Cool bottom. We're almost out of cheese. Anyway, I'm way too invested in shoe bottom, and she knows it, and I try to do things not to seem as invested, but it doesn't work. All right, so look, I got this leash now because I do... I do see where, I, and, and you're going to see if she does it, she seems to be able to even understand somewhat leash posturing. You know, and if I started roughing her up and all that stuff, like, you know, she probably would get overexcited. What I've been trying to do, and I had to take it off because it needed a charge, but I try to leave the pager on her. And when she's outside, I click it. There's a way for her to know. Anyway, so what I was working on was getting her that if I put any pressure on her, you know, and I, I thought about it, and I said a shorter leash would be easier to follow, obviously. But yeah, I think I might do that. I might get a little carpet runner because then I could get her running up there. But she's going to sit. I was going to cue the down, but she didn't give me a chance. That's what I don't understand how it knows to naturally lay down. When, when dogs normally don't do that. All right, so here's my job to get her to know. And I mean, if you said, well, it doesn't know the leash is there. Oh, yes, it does. How could it not? How could it not? All right, so my job is just a little bit of pressure and then get her to, you know, and I think it's maybe kind of like, Foot. I think I need to be within a foot. You know, or 
if this leash is three feet, I need to be within two feet of her coming off there. You know, that if I'm giving that pager and the tug on the leash, that I'm, I'm only a couple feet away. Yeah, that's what I kind of think it's like a baby diving off the side of the pool. They're right there. All right, so look, I can get her back up there. All right, I can cue the down. Let me see if I can cue the down with the pager. Because it is different. It is different. And I think, I think the, I kind of did it earlier where I dropped the leash like that, and she seemed to sense that. Which, if you said, well, how is that different? Because this, I am putting a little bit of pressure on there. Shoe bottom, you're in the way, shoe bottom. Shoe bottom. But you know, even that she senses that dog there and everything. All right, so remember, my job is to be within a couple feet of wherever. And ideally, I mean, you know, maybe ideally I should only be a foot away. Anyway, guys, I'm out of cheese, so that's where we're at for right now, and I'm just amazed with her and you know you know whether it's highly intelligent I don't know I don't know apparently she rolled around like a gator and everything before oh you little monkey oh, she brushes me. oh hang on I got some more treats I guess I took all the trees off. All right, but look, she's going to find me. <laughs> and I do. If you said, you know, picking her up is a reward for this dog, it is. But I don't, if, if I do pick him up, I do it by virtue of I, I'm just a vehicle to carry you. I'm not tickling and doing all these things. I'm just, that's just the mo that's just your mode of transport. You know, that's how we're transporting you around. Because if this puppy is only eight or ten weeks old, I mean, how big is she going to be? That's, that's today's episode. Bye, guys.